Oh, let's get a coffee. What is up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, GG4X here, and today is an amazing day. Today, I have broken my personal record. I have managed to beat my 6% trade, my trade before, the biggest trade I've ever done is I think 6%, right? One to three, no, 8% trade. I may have got a five, maybe just under a five, but today we smashed it with flying colors. And I'm gonna walk you through it in a sec, but my trade, if you follow me on Instagram or you're already in the GG4X family in the Facebook group, if you ain't, get in the link below because I gave the setup to the group. 16%, 16. In one trade, if I was doing FTMO where you need to make 10% in month one and then 5% in the following 60 days, bang, one trade. Everyone on YouTube goes, oh, I passed FTMO in like nine hours and they've done over leveraged their account and bloody done 25 trades in a day. One trade, 2% risk, one to eight, 16% growth. One trade. Admittedly, it wasn't one day for me, but the duration was one day. Let me double check. Duration, 17 hours. 17 hours, 16%. That was a hundred thousand pound account, 16 grand, one trade. Only risking 2% of my account, and I'll prove all of that stuff. <laughs> when I jump into smart charts. But in other news, not only have I broken my record, I'm now on 29% growth for my account. I've got myself a GG4X snapback, so you don't have to look at my COVID haircut anymore. Yeah, thoughtful, I know. And it's green underneath, because, you know, baby odor. But, yeah, so if you like the hats, let me know in the comment box below. Um, uh, yeah, let's just get into this video, because it is a good day. I'm so happy right now. And uh, yeah, I'm pumped and uh, yeah, this is, this is go. Right guys, I hope you can see me in my screen. As you can see here, this is the trade info I did on Smart Charts. If you want to see your previous trades that you've done on any pair, just click the, the flag icon in the top-ish right of the chart. And then you can see where I end the from, just click the flag. And then you go on View Trade. So I did a buy position, volume was 3.7 lots on a £5,700 account at the time, okay? And yes, uh, swap fees was £5 and yeah, 188 pips, £695, I'm classing that as a £700 bloody win, that is like two wages. Two wages, two weeks wages. If this was real money, this is a demo account, if it's real money, that's two weeks pay in one night. Like things are clicking now, things are clicking and we're feeling good. Like, what's this previous trade I won? 319, that's basically a week's pay. 124 pips. We're getting it now, we're getting it good. Okay, right, so let's do more proof because I know you guys are like, ah, it's not real. So let's go on to my journal. As you can see here on my top right hand side, 29% growth, um, average weekly 5.23%, and I'm only on 32% success rate. Now I know a lot of people have messaged me saying, ah, how can you do that with a success rate that low? It's not real. It is, it's just a fact, okay? <laughs> I'm giving you proof. So yes, guys, on the 10th, which is today, 10th of the 11th, 2020, there's my trade, it's there. It's on a 30 minute time frame, and look, initial risk, 1.96%. Let's just look at that, risking 2%, not even 2%. If I wanted to be anal about it, I wasn't even risking 2%, I was risking 1.96%, okay? And I got back 16%. Just let that sink in. Anywho. And for another little bonus, I'm not just going to go over how amazing this trade went and how amazing my day's gone and how cool this hat is and how amazing baby, baby, baby Yoda is. I'm also going to look at another trade that I'm potentially thinking of and the reasons why. Um, I'm going to go over pound dollar. Basically, I think the pound's really strong at the moment. 
and uh, let me just go through why I think that and where I'm going to be looking for price to retrace and why I think that, etc, etc. So, if we have a look at the daily, daily time frame, I think price is going to come up to around about here. You've got a huge daily banker's candle there where I feel like price is going to. We're having big push-ups, nice flags down, big push-up, nice flag down. Um, so I think price is still going to go up and mitigate that daily banker's candle on there. Also, if I go to the weekly, you can see we are in an upward trend making lower highs and higher lows. I mean higher highs and higher lows. <laughs> And then if I show you my trick where I showed you guys on the last video, the video before I believe, I think I showed you the setup for my pound cad trade that I did um, on the last video. If you haven't seen that, check out last video, so it'll, it'll be on there. Just go on here and click on Heikinashi candles and you can clearly see that the average price is going up as well. So this also adds to the confirmation of me putting in a buy order. But where? George, where do I put in a buy order? So I'm gonna break it down on where I can possibly get into the market um, and all that stuff. And it doesn't come without risk, you know? You risk 2% of your account or 1%, no more than two, to find out what happens in the future. Now I'm not saying take this trade, but what I'm saying is it's a possibility. And then I'm gonna also give you some targets that you could possibly go for as well and the reasons why I think they are targets. So let me take this back to my candles. And the interest area, see that? That horizontal line I put up, that is that daily banker's candle. So I think price could get up to that area. I think that's where price is heading to to mitigate out of those orders. Um, but let's just break down to the lower time frames because I'm looking at this candle here. And let's just go on to my rectangle tool. I'm looking at this area here. You're probably thinking, why? Well, basically, this was the London Open around here. Price pushed down, took out all these lows, and then pushed back up. I thought price was maybe going to come back down. It never did and just carried on going. Um... So I'm looking here, let's get rid of that box because we know where we're looking now. Let's maybe go down to the five minute, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> so you have a look here, trend line, you've got equal lows taken out. Got equal highs taken out, and I expected price to come back down to this area and then shoot up, and then it just sent it. Absolutely went full send to 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 the moon, basically. Which kind of good because that would have been another nice one to eight. That would have been a 32% day, which would have been mega. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way. So I'm waiting for price really to flag down. What I mean by flag, some of you know, some of you don't. So I'm going to go on drawing freehand. I'm waiting for price to basically do this. Hit where I want it to go and then do that. That's what I'm hoping for. Again, price could smash down, take out these lows, come down, take out these lows, come down and take out these lows. So there is a risk to this trade, but as the pound is a lot stronger than the dollar at the moment, and we have a clear target. Um, it's not the daily banker's candle, by the way, but that's what I think price is going to. That's not my target. So let me show you the target of where I would like to get out of the trade. Would be where it's made these equal highs. So if I do clone on that one. See how price convenient, conveniently made equal highs. They've got equal highs there and there. But I'm not going to be pushy. I mean, I'm not going to go up to here. But I do think price is going to take out those equal highs right up in that corner. So let's just back down to the five minute time frame again. Look to where we could possibly get in. 
So, if I'm honest, the big push came from here. So if I was going to do this trade, see how price action acts in that area first. But let me just get my horizontal ray out. Which would be roughly around here because we also have imbalance in here. And let's see if it lines up with my Fibonacci. Fibonacci retracements. And it lines up around about here for a retracement zone what I like to look for. Because you think about Fibonacci is, is think about it like a, a discount voucher. The more it goes down, the more you get off. So I like to get 71 to 78% off my trades. That's how I think about it. Some of you guys go to the 50% mark or the 618, so you want to get 50, 60% off. Everyone does that. I want to get more off. Um, so that's kind of where I'm looking for price maybe to go to and react. But as there is also imbalance between this candle and that candle right there, that's what I think price may go into, fill that gap, and then go on to the top. So if I was going to enter this trade, it will be at the top of that imbalance. Because I got to cover roughly two pip spread. So if I'm going to do my spread like I showed you on a previous video. I'm dropping bombs on these videos by the way guys. So if I if I say stuff you're like what do you mean by imbalance? What do you mean by fibs? What do you mean by stuff like that? Just go back from my videos and have a look. Because i got stuff on there I just forget what I make. And then if, you, if I'm saying something and I still haven't explained it correctly. Um, just message me or join the group down below. And I'll explain it to you or I'll just make another video on it because that way if you answer if you've got a question about it nine times out of ten a lot more of people have a question about it that they just haven't bothered to message me and ask so yeah um, so what was I doing that was it measuring tool measuring tool of how to get in with uh, bigger spreads so if it's a two pip um, spread fee, um, that's 2.7 pips to the top of this bar. I'd ideally like to enter on that bar, but you know, you got to cover the pips. I mean, you got to cover the spreads, which isn't too bad because this is a major pair, but you still got to cover it. So if I was going to do a buy, I'll be here. Let me put my buy option in there. So it's the 20 pip stop, and I'll be having my. <coughs> Um, TP up around this level on those equal highs. If I didn't want to be so, let's just type it in GGFX. Again, risking 2% only on my order ticket. And I'm just going to go in on that trade. And let's just go back to that four hour chart. Let me zoom out a bit and let's see where our TP is. Remember, this is our daily candle, the top yellow line. This is our TP on those equal highs if I really wanted to and make it like a more secure uh, trade. Um, I could go lower, but price has already hit that area where I would have gone lower anyway. So it's already got what it wanted out of those candles. I still think there's a lot of money sitting up here and unmitigated candles up here as well. And that is where the general movement is going. So I know you guys are probably thinking this is a bit far fetched. But let's just see how this trade goes. Again, it could just slam down, stop me out, because there's a load of reasons why it should go down. There's still a load of reasons why, but I am just thinking as the trend is so strong and the dollar is so weak, um, price is gonna retrace, get out of that London open, because it, when it price came down, it got out of that London open. I, that's why I was waiting for price to come down to it, and it never did. I saw this consolidation at half seven-ish, quarter to eight in the morning, then at eight o'clock I just saw the big push down, took out the lows, big push up, expecting price to come down and then it just went full send up. So it's showing me there's a strong buyers are in control of this market. So that's why I think price isn't really going to break down these lows and all this area here. I mean it could, I feel like it will do when it hits that daily banker's candle. But who knows, I could be wrong. I could lose 2%, but it doesn't matter. I could lose 2%, but I'm still 14% up this week, which has smashed my goal. 
as a four week goal. I did my month goal 4% a week in one trade today. So there's no need for me to rush into the market. That's something what I'm looking at. It either works, it works, it doesn't, it doesn't. Life goes on. That's what I'm thinking of guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're happy with what I'm teaching you so far. If you are, join the GG Forex family down below because I'm dropping bombs on there as much as I can. And yeah, what do you think of the hat? Let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you on the next one. Please like, share, subscribe. Love you all.